DRS rotor radars play in the maneuverable tactical ground space. So these are relatively portable. So we have some static implementations, but it can also be on the move. So it's the same hardware baseline. You can take that onto a vehicle, off a vehicle, same hardware baseline again. And then the software de definition of the systems allow you to adjust as the threat profile changes over time. You have the ability to adapt and adjust. We cover a wide range of threat targets and profiles. Um, counter UAS, CRAM, APS, and then multi-mission. So you can have you know, multiple missions co-located on a single radar for additional capabilities. The Army really does need a layered portfolio and approach across the battle space. So where they've relied on individual unique sensors to accomplish a mission, having a layered approach allows for people to be on the move, capable, maneuverable. Um, and then as things become expeditionary, they have the, the ability to leverage multiple sensors across the platform to give appropriate coverage. What's nice about this implementation is that there's passive capabilities that also play a role. So the system can continue to be active as needed. And then as uh, the threat profile or if the scenario decides that they need to be passive, um, the two can align appropriately. And when something needs to be passive, it can continue to be passive. We may never turn on, but if we need to turn on, we can then provide a cue for the associated kinetic or non-kinetic engagement capability. Our portfolio really reflects our ability to be agile based off of the current wartime scenario and what we're seeing in Eastern Europe. Um, our systems are employed over there currently. Um, so honestly, on our day-to-day -day basis, we do intensive recognizance of what's out in the battle sp space and how we're addressing that appropriately. Um, and part of that is just being agile, right? So this is a static system. How can we employ that in different scenarios to help the warfighter execute their mission appropriately?